Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today we're coming at you with not just one, but two Okapi reviews. So stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started with the Okapi slip joint. I'll go ahead and let you get a really good look at it. There's no design on the handle for this style, but as you can see here, hopefully it'll focus. Uh, this is just Okapi carbon steel. It is made with a 1055 high carbon steel blade, stabilized cherry wood handles. Um, and as you can see, just a slip joint, but it really, the retention, blade retention is excellent on this. Uh, this one has a two and a half inch blade and This little piece right here. It does move so uh, Actually better way of showing it when you're using it. It actually works as a perfect almost like jimping <laughs> But it just really locks your thumb in so as you can see right there So actually you could really do a lot of uh, you know small utility tasks carving stuff like that um, It is really good for stuff like that. It is crazy lightweight I mean I think this was like less than two ounces um, I put it on I don't have a digital scale I just have a little uh, food scale and I put it on there and like the little needle just didn't even really move so I'm thinking in between one and two ounces so extremely lightweight uh, very functional little blade uh, especially for those that like slip joints or you live in a country where that's the only option you have uh, the two and a half inch blade as you can see overall really small so it fits in any pocket really well um, and typically I don't like I'm not a huge fan of knives without pocket clips I don't say I don't like them but I'm not a huge fan because uh, you know I've got a phone in one pocket I use an e-cig so you know I got this in the other pocket and without the pocket clip you know knives tend to just fall around in your pocket j jumbled up with whatever else you got in there but this one is so small and so light that I'm just telling you this thing is you don't even know that it's in your pocket if you have tactical pants with a little knife pocket, this fits perfect in it. Um, and really, I mean, I really like a lot of small blades because they have so many uses um, for all your everyday lives and even stuff around camp. You know, if you're hiking, backpacking, these can be awesome because they weigh so little, right? And they're so inexpensive. I mean, I think these are on CAS Siberia right now, which is your recommended retailer. Definitely go check them out definitely if you're gonna buy no copy I would go with them um, I did hear have someone say that they saw some on knife center uh, but I'm gonna recommend these guys cuz um, one I know that they import them and I know that you, what you're gonna get from them is 100% real um, and so this one I mean as you can see it closes easy enough but man that blade retention is just outstanding um, and like I said, so many utility tasks and so many uh, uses with carving and stuff like that. You're not going to process wood, but you can feather stick with it. Um, I do have to say out the gate, just like the ratchet back that I got, they do not come with a great edge on it. So you are going to have to put that on it. But it's a 1055 uh, high carbon steel, so it's not a very difficult thing to do. Uh, it's very thin. As you can see, here's your blade width. I mean, that's got to be just like a millimeter. Uh, it's really really thin and really really nice um, and for the price I mean you can't beat these if you break it you're not gonna cry if you lost it you're not gonna cry it's just an outstanding pocket knife to own uh, and with the history of it check out my video from when I first got these when I was doing the ratchet back um, I mean the company is or these have been made for a really long time and blade style design hasn't changed but the usefulness hasn't changed either. It's still just as good as it was when it was first created. Now for the second, you have the Reliance Machete. Go ahead and let you get the Okapi logo on there. A little sticker. This as well is made from a 1055 high carbon steel. As you can see, it is black coated. This one has an 18 inch blade and they have a variety of lengths. Um, uh, going from 16 up to 24, I believe. This is an injected plastic uh, for the handle, lanyard hole. Uh, now the total blade length is 18 inches, but the cutting edge, as you can see right here, as I, you can tell I'm rubbing my hand on it, uh, there's no cutting edge there, but I'm telling you what, this thing will chop like you wouldn't believe. Um, as you can see here by the blade, it's getting a lot, got a lot of use. 
Um, now with the width of it, I mean, you do go to get some good flex like you want in a machete, but as you can see how thin it is, uh, this is not going to be for chopping really large logs. This is for, I would say anything two inches and under would be perfect. Um, but it is high carbon still, so you will have to keep it oiled. You may see some rust along the blade. I didn't clean it after the last trip, so I'm going to have to do that soon. Um, but I'm telling you what, guys, for the price, $11, right? $11 for this one. Get it just like the other one from CAS Siberia. All the machetes, I believe, are in stock, and they even have some with wood handles. Uh, so if you prefer, prefer that style, they have different styles of machete biocopy. Um, but man, this thing is just really durable, chops really well. Um, but like I said, I mean, this is not going to be your survival machete. You know, you're not going to be cutting down trees or four or five inch logs. You can, just going to take some work. So all of your sm smaller stuff, your brush clearing, every bit of that, it does really well. Um, the only thing it didn't do, it does have a really good 90 degree spine, but with the coating on it is preventing it from striking the ferro rod very well. But you could easily just sand some of that off and take care of that yourself. Um, I just always have fa uh, ferro rod strikers, so I don't really worry about that too much. Uh, but just in case it's something you're looking for a one tool option. I know a lot of people love machetes. Um, there are countries where this is all they use. They don't even really use knives and they use them to a huge effect. Uh, now this one for carving and all that kind of stuff, the length for me, uh, no, not really. Uh, but you can definitely process a lot of firewood. Uh, Batoning can be done, but it does not do well just because it is so thin, right? I mean, that's just kind of an expectation. Uh, you know, full flat grind, pretty much like every machete. Uh, but the handle, extremely comfortable. That sh uh, shape fits my hand absolutely perfectly. And just love the little sticker and the Okapi uh, logo on there. Just the animal itself is kind of amusing to me, but... <laughs> It's a cool thing to name a blade after, right? Or any cutting tool. Um, okay, guys, yeah, this thing, highly recommend both of them for the prices. I mean, you really, really can't beat them. Uh, the Okapis, now they keep going out of stock really fast, so keep checking. Uh, right now, I think they do have a couple of the plastic handled or the plastic handled uh, slip joints and the ratchet backs in stock. Uh, not the wood, just these. Um, but keep checking for the smaller ones because I'm sure they'll be in stock soon. I'll try to contact them again and find out uh, when they're going to be getting more in. And if I can hear from them soon, I'll put it in the description box below. Uh, but yeah, guys, these things are awesome. And CASI, CAS Iberia, I mean, they have a lot of different blades, not just no copies. So definitely worth checking out. They got a lot of really cool brands on there. Um, I'm probably going to have to get something from them because, I mean, they just got some really cool stuff. Uh, really beautiful designs on there even swords I don't need a sword but man <laughs> kind of really want one uh, but anyway okay guys hopefully this will help you in your next purchasing of a slip joint or a machete go copy man these things really work they really work really well okay in the meantime be prepared have fun shop at CAS Iberia